Um, discussing the results of our recently completed phase two clinical trial on a gene therapy to treat congestive heart failure. The name of the product is RT100 and uh, it's the human AC6 gene um, that is uh, in a common cold virus, adenovirus. It was a dose response study, typical phase two. Uh, included five different dose groups, placebo-controlled, double-blinded, and the trial was actually uh, uh, started by the National Institutes of Health along with our scientific founder, Dr. Kirk Hammond, a cardiologist at uh, UCSD, and soon after, Renova Therapeutics was formed, and then uh, one of the first things we did was to pursue a public-private partnership with the NIH, which we completed, and then uh, in, in partnership with the NIH, the trial was conducted. Actually, they were very positive. There was nothing of any consequence with regard to safety in the patients treated with the gene therapy or placebo either. Um, so the safety profile was extraordinary. No increases in heart rate, uh, no uh, uh, arrhythmia caused by the gene therapy. Um, uh, no increases in blood pressure, all the things that you might be worried about uh, with the gene therapy of this kind uh, was not seen at all in the trial. So the safety was extraordinary, just, just superb. The efficacy likewise um, uh, really um, mirrored what we saw in animals. Now th this product actually has been the subject of perhaps more preclinical research than any medicine that I'm aware of or been involved with in my life. So over 40 peer-reviewed publications in the top journals in the world, um, all of which demonstrated this extraordinary profile of the product. Uh, and basically what the product does is it enhances calcium handling, but it also has both upstream and downstream positive effects so that the overall uh, effect of the product is basically to um, improve the function of the heart. Drugs that currently treat congestive heart failure are focused really on decreasing the body's demand uh, on the heart for, for pumping blood, for heart function. Our product all, uh, it improves heart function directly, which is extraordinary. And as it does that, it actually causes the remodeling of the heart, which has never been seen before to our knowledge. The heart actually, um, with heart failure, with low ejection fraction heart failure, the, it becomes thin-walled and large and floppy, mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to pump the blood, which still fails and it gets worse and worse, and patients die. Our product actually causes the heart to remodel to normal so that it anatomically gets smaller, the walls get thicker, and, and, and there's leucotropy, meaning that um, there's better relaxation of the heart. So over time, certainly in animals we've seen this and we believe we've seen the first of it in humans now, um, the heart actually remodels and improves its function. And so it's a completely new approach to the treatment of heart failure. Because as the performance of the heart it, in pumping gets better, the heart starts to remodel. It gets better and better because the gene therapy is improving the calcium handling and other aspects of it so that it just gets better and better. And as, as such, the relaxation and the filling of the heart becomes better and more normalized. Animals were actually normalized after the treatment with this gene therapy consistently. And we've seen patients improve by that extent, uh, some patients in the initial clinical.